so far go together. I like that. I like that. And thank you for the escape button. Oh! He's alive! Yes! <laughs> so where the hell is everybody? That's my goal is when I'm when I'm his age. <laughs> well alright. Uh let me see if the Gears of War video is back up now. Also, I kinda wanna watch the trailer for Gears 5. Thanks. See if we can watch the uh Aha, it's back up now. Alright, so here's the biggest changes for Gears 4 to Gears, Gears 5. 5. Is right around the corner. We've gotten our hands on it, and we're here to catch you up to speed with 10 things that are new here compared to last time around with Gears of War 4. So let's just dive in with number 10 and talk about the open levels. Gears 5 is gonna be, and I quote, the biggest Gears game ever. But I'm actually doing like the corny marketing speak. It actually seems like it's got the chops to back it up. Some campaign levels are going to be, and I quote, 50 times larger than any Gears game, which is pretty insane. Sounds like it's going to be pretty long. I've always really focused on like spooky hallways and battlefields and stuff. Gears 4 shook it up, but Gears 5 is going to have Metro Exodus style open environments. I love that background this is music. Be quite a shift that takes some getting used to. I mean, I mean, like, what exactly are we doing in these environments? Well, from what we've seen, the large open ones are Look at that. A map. This is the first Gears game There's to have an actually a map. map. You can pick up clues or be informed of certain little side quests and objectives to divert your attention to. Crazy. Look for collectibles. You can also stop off if you see a random shack in the woods, say, for example, uh, and possibly find something good like a relic weapon, which these are like these new, and they call them Easter egg weapons. One example is a sniper rifle that looks cooler and has an extra round in the chamber. Like, I'm curious to see how well all this stuff works and if finding stuff relic like that weapons is consistently too. rewarding. Uh, the designers intended Changing for this it whole open traversal for allowing players to play at their own pace instead of just constantly moving forward. But I really hope that works and that we still have cool little one-off sequences like the motorcycle bit in Gears 4. But anyway, uh, speaking of vehicles, sort of, at number 9, let's talk about how you get around these larger environments. You do it with this. The skip. This thing. This is a wind that looks pretty sort of fun. sled that goes around snow and desert sand with relative ease. It's incredibly simple to control and really doesn't really have much to it. I mean, like from what we've played, it's gonna be but it's really cool. fun to control as you can kind of like slalom and drift around hills and hit jumps. And this is with Kate steering and, and Del manning a turret. You can hop off and on it at any time if you want to get out and explore somewhere or head to the next mission. It also has an onboard weapon storage thing at the front, so you can stash a few extra weapons here just to have, like, say, maybe I later guess those are abilities those at the top weapons, left. Or a lancer with a grenade launcher attachment that like you'd rather just save for later. Like the Y and the left trigger action. Is that Moving on over to Jack? number eight, something interesting that Gears single player campaign has going on now is player initiated combat. Now, what is that, you ask? It sounds fancy, but basically it's for the first time in this full fledged form encounters rolling out very differently. It's not like usual where you walk in a room and take cover because the dudes are coming and they know where you are. Now, often, you'll stumble across bands of swarm just hanging out or guarding something or just doing whatever it is they do. I don't know. You're then free no, to these engage guys are hanging however out. you want. You launch the attack first. You know, maybe <laughs> stealth attack one or two of them to thin the herd if you can. Look for and sneak over to higher ground or just get better cover. This is a big change of feel. She for has a new game. hairstyle. And it was inspired by the creative director Rod Ferguson's previous involvement with Bioshock Infinite. It still always does seem to boil down to shooting. You know, it's not all stealth. Even Gears 4 had a little of that. But here it is a nice change of pace for how some battles pan out. And it seriously Whoa. changes the flow what? of Gears of War. But I think in a good way. It just makes hey, sense. Hey, you play as JD for a now, little next bit? at number 7, one other new single player concept that Gears 4 didn't have that 5 brings to the table is very, very light RPG elements, kind of. Trusty robot Jack returns from yeah, the original Yeah, I can't wait. Multiple I can't wait for can Jack. On the battlefield. He's not just like a glorified door unlocker. 
Throughout the environment, you'll find hidden collectible upgrade packs that allow you to then spend points on upgrading Jack's in-game abilities. That's going to be so cool. This includes stuff like cloaking you and your teammates, uh, the ability to stun enemies on the fly, a pulse that will identify all enemies, and more. This gives you a lot more to do than just shooting as you can now point and press Y to tell Jack to do things during fights, even go and get ammo if you see it. But with the actual RPG light elements, there's actually a pretty decent skill tree and amount of ways I you can upgrade that. Jack. You know, spend points Look, on longer stun skill durations tree. and helping you revive In more, Gears stuff like that. Game. And you can also bounce between abilities with the simple press of the D-pad in the game, it. too. Gears 4 didn't have much of anything like this to be honest but it adds a nice new level of gameplay and it's not annoying so i wasn't even that. expecting now that. next at number six speaking of jack he's gonna be completely playable while he's somewhat playable in the campaign he can really take an important this role is what i am really excited of to mode. try he's out actually pretty fun to play as jack takes on this sort of support role and he was actually nicely enough designed as a way to get new players into horde mode like maybe for younger players or just inexperienced players jack is easier to jump into because he doesn't need to take cover and he can effortlessly fly around the environment and that's he's so completely cool. invisible unless he's actively engaging so yeah he can still be in danger but his main role is to actually help players out by stunning enemies or buffing or reviving you in a pinch if you're down and it's even fun if you know what you're doing too on the higher horde levels and difficulties having a good competent jack Wave player 39. is almost a necessity and a complete lifesaver Jeez. it's kind of awesome how well he seems to flow into the horde gameplay and we're <laughs> looking forward to getting our hands on the final version now next at number five, another thing completely new to the Gear series is a map builder. This is for the new escape. I mode forgot we'll about, talk about this. It a little bit later, but this map builder itself I is hope they have very like a cool feature and pretty intuitive. Uh, for what we saw map, of it is only in beta, maps but that player you essentially build out maps in 2D on a tile-based system. Think of any video game map you've ever looked at, but this one you can grab and move the tiles and hallways around. You can choose a variety of different tiles that are extremely generous and choose hallways, dead ends, start and finish points. Delay. There's going to be 65 tiles at launch to be exact. And from there, you can also choose lot of tiles. which tiles have weapon placements. Uh, and you can place enemies, anyone that the game has available aside from the bosses. So you could, like, you know, drop in a bunch of snipers at the end of a long hallway. You know, just to be mean and dumb and fun. I don't know. You can also change deeper fun stuff, like uh, how the escape mode will actually work in it the lighting how aggressive enemies are plus you can't share it and finalize it until you complete the course yourself similar to something like super mario maker so good luck out there that's pretty but cool but over at number four let's talk a little you have bit about to at good least old beat it one time multiplayer. it seems like this time around the coalition is putting everything into this mode people feel differently about gears 4 multiplayer it was a little divisive but this one has a lot going okay, on first there's arcade versus traditional to choose from which this time around arcade takes a truly fun casual approach and is designed specifically definitely gonna to give uh, ever so quick play a try and sort of keep out the wall bouncing extreme shotgunning high level pro players and just focus on fun and modes and shooting traditional versus is where the big boys are intended to play that's where they're designed to go there are 11 maps total at launch that's with sarah connor coming free down the line and a miss few that voice <laughs> <laughs> favorite maps are also returning pretty much completely Good old Jake Valnino. there will be 11 modes and gears 5 will have completely custom games and, and this time a browser to search for custom games which you can name it feels like a fully fleshed browser out i'm interested in seeing what that looks like on the, the first day players. But coming down to number three, <laughs> speaking of hardcore players, a feature completely new to Gears of War multiplayer is the Tour of Duty, which is essentially something yeah, so like a battle pass called. popularized oh, okay. by games like Fortnite. A Gears version, however, is free and Forgot had to about be updated this. every three months. It'll have all sorts of objectives and boxes to check off for those addicted to you the multiplayer get skins, and grind and progression. Icons. rounds in certain types of playlists or a game mode. Get a certain amount There's of kills a meal. with a specific gun, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all working towards the okay. goal huh. of getting some exclusive. I never saw it. I never like noticed that, that was a meal that only the first time. Through this, and if you don't get it, it goes away. It We're meal. curious to see how this one plays There's out in the, the long reach term. Statue but right there what are you working me? towards when you're not engaging in Tour of Duty? Well, at number two, let's talk customization because there's quite a bit. You can build out a character how you want. Of course, the card system for ah, four kind of returns in a somewhat similar fashion for outfitting and equipping your character for horde mode. But there's more to it than that. So many there's skins. There's a lot more skins to be earned for each character. Characters. For this and versus, as well as weapon skins. And then there will also be four mappable emotes. 
and you can unlock and equip <laughs> more unique ones, and some of them are really goofy. Yes, Gears of War is doing this. There will also be these blood splatters, so in instead of a yeah, I saw that. That's that's interesting. System that other games have. When you do one of your finishers, which of course you can change those as well, uh, the splatter on the ground will be left behind and can be a unique design of your choice. So you can earn and unlock more of these and. There are all types of things like happy faces or targets or symbols, etc. Also, when you tag enemies, the icon that shows above their head when you tag I like them, that. your exclusive tag, the icon. you can get different ones too. So <laughs> I can put a kitten mark. Like, there's even a poop emoji one. <laughs> I don't know. That's, this is what they're doing here. Gears is going overboard, man. I, there's also going to be microtransactions. Of course we know there are currencies in game, but we don't know all of the details yet. Other than that, it's not pay to win. It seems like it's likely just skins. But we'll see how that pans out after launch, honestly. Now, finally down to number one. One last thing Gears 5 has over Gears 4 is an entirely new mode. We briefly mentioned before. Yeah, this uh, seems interesting. Mode. This is an all-new three-player co-op mode where you're basically on a suicide mission. The stakes are high, and it's an extremely challenging mode. You need to work together to take out enemy hives, and there's an ever-approaching poisonous gas making everything really a race against time and all the more risky. There are more characters. That's going to be fun to try. Looking ones. With and like the a good team. Actually involves the like locals. people that I you actually too much know. Experience with it yet, but it seems briskly paced and fun, and that works as a palate cleanser from the other Wait modes. a minute. It seems like they're going for There's a damage stats? Type unique standalone mode here. I just Maybe noticed that. Maybe not everyone that. will love it, but it'll probably find an audience somewhere. Hopefully it pays off for them when the game launches. We'll when see you hit though. the enemies, These you can see what... These are worth knowing about Gears yeah. of War 5. Huh. What's different? We highlighted both the single player and the you multiplayer. You can see the damage Try you're doing, and you they have health good. bars. So we want to hear from you guys now what? down in the comments. What are you thinking about Gears 5? Chances are you played one of the betas or something I like that. I didn't know that. What game mode of all the five new completely separate things they have here, what are you looking for? So hype. I can't wait. Um, Gears 5 trailer. So what was the... There's a big trailer that, like, explained... What's going to be, uh, here we are. Cinematic announcement. Oh boy. Kind of loud. Hold on one sec. Really? Wait, is this official Gears or is this, this game spot trailer? Gears 5. Um. Let me do announcement. Trying to find the the first one by Xbox. No, not escape announcement. It's been it's cinematic trailer announcement. Here we go. This is probably a better quality too. Do you have ah yes you do. Very good. This is what I wanted. Bump the volume down halfway. So this is the actual trailer. Okay. Hey. No, 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 Kate, Kate, you can't see this. You don't want to see this. So now I know who these people are in the trailer. From the first time watching this, I did not, but now Kate. I do. I'm sorry. That JD. What? Thanks for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? He's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. It's Marcus. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. Oh yeah, it is, JD. Something's it says happening Phoenix. to me. Is your grandmother's? 
Enough. We'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. How do you get a scar? I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> and what happened to it? Oh, Absolutely geez. not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you're coming back to Norfira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. I oh, got promoted to you. Captain. It's about me. I need to fix this. Hey, watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy, my choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? Gonna be a fun time. Oh god, I don't want to fight that. What? Being overrun. Hey, hey. What are you... Why did you come here with me? What did JD tell you? This is why you came. Alright, this is going to be fun. I feel like it was a very good decision to watch that. Um, what's the launch trailer? Uh, here we go. One more and then we'll play... Uh, I'm going to grab some water and then we'll play some board mode Fine, or multiplayer. For a bit. Yeah. And now we need to kill it. I'm not gonna lie. It's real ugly out there. Down! Oh my. Can we watch each other's backs? <laughs> like always. <laughs> you got it, Carmine. Good night. A clean kill. <laughs> Skate Bump all new co op. Bump the bump of blood. Run for it. We gotta leave now. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Ride or die. Yeah. You remember me? Now's the fun part, bitch. Hey, don't reach. Batista. Yeah, what if they got the rock in here too? That would be so dope. Probably would not, because he probably costs way too much money, but that would be sick if they did. Um But yeah, I'm pretty hyped. I'm after watching all that, I'm pretty excited. I can't wait for 
uh, Friday night. That's the night I'll be playing 